Hello everyone, this is Stunt to Collect here with another action figure review, and here is my second Hot Toys figure, which I'm really excited to open up. I honestly thought I canceled the order because I have, like, a car payment coming up, but I decided to keep it on because I think it would be a really cool figure and really, like, a last big purchase for me. Unless if I were to somehow make some money off of, like, TikTok and YouTube and stuff at some point, but for right now, this is, like, the last big, big purchase for me action figure wise at least um unless there's a really cool has lab marvel legends that comes out i might get the batman though i'm not sure i might get the batman hot toys but we'll see but yeah this is the black and gold suit spider-man from hot toys uh so let's go over to packaging first so we get the spider-man no way home logo here we get that nice picture of the black and gold suit here and it says received with the new web shooters uh and uh, racking. Oh, and oops, that's a different language. Um, but yeah, you get that nice picture of the black and gold suit there with some magic behind it. And then you get that nice gold furnishing there. You can get some magic sparkles going on, like uh, Doctor Strange effects. And you get like the circuit board effects. And then you get the Spider Man black and gold suit furnish there. And it gives us a nice reflective black here, which is really cool. And a little bit more reflective stuff going on. And you get the gold going on there. Here is the side with that Doctor Strange magic there around the circle. And then the circle board effect there. Spider-Man black and gold suit here with the spider emblems. Here is the back with the circle board effect. And then you get all these warnings and stuff like that. Here's the other side with that same thing on the other side. And then here is the top with the Spider-Man black and gold suit um, uh, there and then one six scale. And then here is the bottom with Spider-Man No Way Home there. And then if we take off the sleeve, that's what it looks like. It gives you a nice look of what the figure looks like when it's still in the box. Uh, and then here's the side with the white Here's the back with a picture of the black and gold suit there with black and gold only. Um, and then here's the other side with what's going on. And top and bottom are the same because it's sleeve. Uh, but yeah, next we'll crack this thing open. All right, and here he is out of the box here. So I already kind of messed with it. If you guys want to come and see my first impressions for figures from now on, uh, go ahead and check out my TikTok. I'm going to be starting to do the thing where I go live and then do a first impressions and now I'll do the reviews so that way I have more of an understanding of what's going on. Magic webbing here where you get the nice like generic look but then you get these like little slots here for the um, these pieces here. Um, and it's transparent plastic with the orange hint to it. So you got those. Show you how to put down. And then you also got this little tab piece here for when you put it into the gauntlet. And then you get this funnel web effect here, which we've seen with other Spider-Man Hot Toy figures before. One magical piece that goes on the webbing. Yeah, another one, but smaller. Transparent plastic with the little swirlies around it. And then here you get this chest piece where it's magnetic here and it's web, but this was never shown in the movie. So uh, flipping hands with all these like cir circuit uh, pieces around it, nice gold. You get the uh, nice textured black areas here, which is nice. And you can get the wall crawling hands. Same deal going on there. And you see the web shooters actually there and the gold lining around it. And then you got this like mask holding hand. Which is nice. Yeah, fisted hand. Other hand is a little different. It had instead of the mask holding hand, it has this uh, web holding hand for the one hand where you're gonna make it look like he's the one web where it's gonna make it seem like it's uh, web sling. And then you got these eyes eyes here, so you get the completely closed eyes. Uh, those right there, 
plastic and their magnets. So that way you could slide them on and off. Closed off eyes, not completely closed. Same deal here. I don't know the difference, but they seem a little different. I just can't tell what it is. I think this one's more closed. You got the really wide eyes here. You get this gauntlet piece where you put on his arm and you get that little uh, point, um, like peg hole right there to put in uh, the web, the mystic web to teleport the enemies in like you did in the movie. You get all these like sculpting here and this nice gold bronze look to it, which is nice. I wish they gave it a little bit more like a, like a quick bronze wash over it just to give it a little bit more detail, but the sculpting is amazing on this. Tom Holland head sculpt, if I can grab it. This is the same Tom Holland head sculpt that we've seen with the other um, Far From Home mask, but it's very detailed. You get the, like the very sparkled eyes. Uh, you get the hair with different types of browns going on in there. Looks amazing. Looks, it's exactly like Tom Holland, nailed it. Now you get this mask here where you, you do not want to put this over the uh, Tom Holland. This is just for display when you have that uh, head on there and you want to make it look like he's holding on the mask. This is not meant for wearing. This is just like a de decorative piece, but there's a lot of detail going on in it. You get the gold there. You got a lot of texturing there. A lot of circuitry going on with the different paints. You get like some of the gold, some grays going on in the fabric. You get the lenses here. Get, oh yeah, one more thing about the hands. So if you're gonna do flipping hands, you wanna use these. So that way, if you wanted to make it look like he's shooting out the webs. So for these, there's like a piece where you wanna pop out. They're usually a pain in the butt and wherever I do it, it kind of scares me because I don't wanna break the, like, the little pig pieces for it. But you gotta kind of pry it open. I prefer not to do this a whole lot. I usually leave one hand with one on it Unless if I really don't, unless if I really want them both to have one or both not to have one on there. But you got to be very careful because these pieces can be pretty fragile and you don't want to break them. And then here's the web shooting one. And you just kind of want to plug that in there. I'm not going to do it, but yeah, you kind of got to line it up right like that. So uh, just be mindful of that. Don't want to lose those pieces either. Otherwise it looks a little wonky. Uh, but yeah, just be careful about that if you get this figure. And then you get all these generic webs here that you get from all the other Hot Toys figures. So you get the web slinging one where you have him holding on the web with this hand. So yeah, there's that. And then you get the like two fairly long ones here that come out of his actual web shooting hands. And then you got the ones, and, and then you would attach the funnel piece to it. Where did I put the funnel? But yeah, you would attach the funnel piece to it. And then here's the one where you actually have like splats coming out of it. Or like the ball, ball piece there. So yeah, there's those. And here is another web slinging one where it's actually spooled up around for when you have them in the fist. You can have, have this around the fist or the one where it's actually using a web slinging one. But yeah, this looks nice when you're having them like actually look like it's web slinging. And then you got this display, the stand here where if you want to make him fly, and there's that. You got the little thing for his butt to, to keep him stable. But yeah, just be careful when you do this because I heard it does wear down the cloth or the, the fabric for this figure. So just be careful about that. And then we'll take the uh, figure out for right now and we'll go over that once we go over the rest of this. Because there's a few more things left in it. And then you get this little display stand here, which I'll open up real quick, so that way you get the full look of it. So yeah, here it is with the hexagonal. You get this like nice glossy spider logo here with the golden black texture and look. And you get the circuitry going on there, very textured right here. Mar uh, Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home logo right there with a little bit of blue shining through. And you get this little thing here for the display stand for it to click in. Let's see if I can grab that out. But yeah, and then here's the bottom of it. And here is this where it says the black and gold suit. And then we'll grab this piece real quick. There we go. Take that off. And then here is this bendy, uh, bendy 
display stand piece here where you can just kind of mess with it, make it look like he's doing different moves. And then you just kind of want to clip that in there like that. And then you would pop this piece off real quick. And then you would slide this in like that. And then pop that in and then you're all good to put the figure on there. And then here's the black and gold suit out of the packaging here. So now we'll go over the details over this. So this head sculpt right here is actually plastic, whereas the Far From Home one is actually fabric. So this one's actual plastic and you can remove the lenses. These are the default lenses. You got all this gold webbing all throughout the figure. It's the Far From Home figure, I meant the Far From Home suit inside out with all the circuitry and stuff going on. So yeah, and then you got all the circuitry going on in the mask. Looks really cool. You got all that like bronze grays going on around there. It's really cool. You get this like gold outlined back spider logo. You got all this really cool texturing too. Even with the different types of like black, like the gla glossy look or just textured. More circuitry going on around the shoulders. You get some blue in there too, which is really cool. You get the, some blue on the on top of the eyes, like at the points too. And you get some like numbers going on around the suit too. Like you see seven, seven, they're pretty small they see, but and you get that gold spider there outlined. More circuitry going on down. And you get that belt piece that doesn't actually finish all the way through through the back, which is really cool. And then there's some more going on there. Like you get some blacks actually shine and some that are just kind of matted. Here's the other shoulder. And then you get the gold outlining around the form. And then you get the circuitry going on around the arm actually here, which is really cool. I love this part. And then here's the like relaxed hands here. You see the web shooters. You get the gold circuitry going on there. Textured fingers and hand. And then you actually see the web shooters in there too, which is really cool. These are actually like, like texturized, which I like a lot. You get some more texture, like more circuitry kind of looking stuff going on there with the different types of blacks that they use or fabric. Here's the butt. And then we go down to the feet with where they continue to use the black and gold webbing which is really cool and you get some more circuitry going on there some gold for that leather part of the suit that he has this is really cool and then you got the soles you get that white stuff that going on there for him and then that's all we really got for looks so let's go over the articulation so he has a double ball jointed head so you can look down that far Look up that far. Be careful when you're doing that far because then the cloth fabric kind of gets clumped up in the back there and you don't want to mess it up a bit. Left and right movement. Lots of head pivoting. Uh, shoulders can move out that far. And then you can do some rotation there. You don't want to do full 360, otherwise it messes with the fabric a lot. You got bicep swivel. Uh, you can also do some butterfly joint there. You can kind of pivot the shoulders up and down a bit. And then double jointed elbows, they got up that far. And then, um, and then you get this like 360 movement wrist joint that goes down that far, up that far. Whoops. And then you also do side to side motion if you need to. 360 around it too. And then you got a ball joint at the diaphragm, so you can go th forward that much, backwards that much, and you also got a ball joint at the hips, so forward that much with all that going on, backwards that much, some twisting action there, side to side movement, all the way around. Legs get kick out actually pretty far. Forward not a whole lot because the fabric, you know, restricts it a bit, backwards quite a bit actually. You get a bit of a thigh cut there, double joint the knees, which goes pretty far back right there. And then wrist, I mean, ankle scanning down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. You can actually twist it too if you want to. And you got these toe joints, which are nice. And then to get the gauntlet piece on, 
you just kind of want to remove that off slide that in it's going to be pretty tight so just be mindful about that so don't do it a whole lot if you're going to keep this on uh and then i like to use the flipping hand for when you use it because you probably want to use the like the magic webbing they uses in the movie so like that so that's what it looks like with him wearing it looks really good fits well with the figure and then we'll put the webbing on there actually if i can get him to stay still stood up there we go easy so then we would grab this and then we grab this here this one would be closest because then you don't want the heaviest part out. And it kind of does just fit in there. You kind of just kind of maneuver it a little bit. Like that. It stays still pretty good. And then you want to get the smaller piece here. Just like that. Fit that in. Boom. And then also this piece this just goes on its chest and just magnetizes like this. It never did this in a movie. You still see the magnet there, but it's not that big of a deal. It still looks pretty cool, though. Not gonna lie. And then you would grab the figure here. I'm actually gonna take this off because I don't want to lose it. And then you would grab this, and this thing goes off to the side, actually. I just kind of want to try to fit it in there. There he is with the web shooting magic going on there. That looks really cool. Now with this on, boom. So yeah, that looks really good. And then I'll show you with him on the display stand. So you can get him in different poses here. I can show you, give me one second. And here's him in one of the really cool poses that I could get him into. This one's really cool. I like this a lot. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really got. And didn't show really everything that I could do with it. Uh, but if you wanted to see more of this figure, like me posing it around or playing with it a bit, uh, just check out my TikTok. But I love this figure. It's awesome. Uh, I just, I really wish I had more money to get more Hot Toy figures. <laughs> uh, because Hot Toys does a really good job with their figures, actually. Um, I love the level of detail and stuff with these figures. The movement on this figure is really cool. I love this. And the detail is amazing. Um, oh, and I got one more thing that I can show you, actually, before I let you go. So you know how Spider-Man was fighting Doctor Strange? in the movie well he was wearing this suit when he got all cleaned up by Aunt may so he was actually still wearing this you could fit it in there and actually recreate that scene if you want to if you have dr strange i don't i wish i did the only thing that is different here is that you would have the mask on him but it does work you can get him on the far from home suit i know they have another version of this coming out without the belt piece going on there and the more pointy thing there at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, and it's more battle damage, which is cool. I wish I could get that, but I already have this, so that I don't see a point of getting one that just has a little bit of a difference. Um, I want to get the integrated suit, though, really badly. But yeah, like I said, this is a really cool figure. I really love playing with this guy. I, I like playing with these figures a lot, the Hot Toys ones, actually. Uh, they're definitely my top two in my toy, in like in my collection. Not only because they're expensive, but they're, they do a really good job on articulation and detail. Uh, they're worth the price, I feel like. So if you guys are just getting into Hot Toys like I am, I actually like them a lot. I know there's a few Hot Toys that you shouldn't get, but this one is definitely something that you would probably want to get. This thing is cool. I really want to get the integrated suit, like I said. But yeah, like I said, this is a really cool figure. I love it. Um, but yeah, all, that's all I really got. If you guys want to check more of this figure out or more of the other hot toys figures or my other action figures go ahead and check out my tiktok in my link in my link tree in the description if you want to help support me on other stuff like twitch tiktok and instagram go ahead and check me out on those but besides that thanks for watching <laughs>